Hey guys, it's Sugar Pumpkin Spice here, and I'm here to talk to you about your very first furry convention. Okay, first thing you need to know is what furry con are you going to? Are you going to Anthrocarn? Anthrocarn? Going to Midwest Fur Fest? Are you going to Vancouver? Are you going to all the other very various cons out there? So number two, where are you sleeping? Many other cons go to like 11, 12, maybe one, and then you go home or you figure out where you're staying. Now, you need to figure out if you're if you are staying in general. Are you staying at a hotel? Are you staying at a friend's house? Please don't be that person that sleeps in the games room or finds like a bench at the hotel. Nobody wants to see that. You look gross, go home. Or go wherever you're sleeping, <laughs> please. Now, with getting a hotel, you need to figure out the prices. Okay? They're not cheap. They're not, unfortunately. I mean, they're they're a lot more expensive than staying at home or a friend's house. But you also want to find the right people that you want to get a hotel room with. I have heard many, many horror stories about people getting a room last minute with people that they don't know and then they end up stealing from you or, you know, making you pay way more for the hotel than you need to. So before you go to the convention, like months in advance if possible, find your like closest friends or find people in the community that you know you can room with. Um, make sure that they're good people because if they're not, it's, yeah, that's on you, but don't, don't have that happen. Okay. So reg, pre-reg, reg, whatever, depending on the convention, this line can go four hours, get a snack, sit down, bring a tent. I don't care. No, I'm kidding. Um, they go pretty long though. And other reg lineups go for like five minutes and you're like, okay, well, I have my chair ready and like snacks and now I'm just done. So you need to maybe talk to people beforehand asking how long is the reg lineup usually? But depending on the people that are, you know, doing the reg setup, it could be hours, it could be minutes, it could be like you're just in and out and you're done, right? So, you know, stay around the area if it's too long and just wait until like there's a little bit of a gap and there's just, you know, a few people and then just get in and then you're done, right? Okay, badge pickup. This is your badge. This is your, your name is on it. This is your holy grail, okay? Do not lose this. Please, for everybody's sake, do not lose this. You need this to get into every panel, every party. Well, okay, most parties. Most parties, the dances, the meet and greets, the everything okay this is your best friend for the weekend you do not want to lose that little piece of paper that has your name on it before the con starts we need to talk about this number if you don't know this number you need to know this number it is the 621 which means six hours of sleep two meals like good meals and one shower but i put 6211 because we need to have this one left one it's a lot of ones so we need to have one more one, 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 one. Please use that last one for one time or more. And you can put them on 20 times if you want. Amounts of deodorant, please. We are known for stinking, man. Furries are known for when you walk in that door, you don't smell the flowers anymore, okay? We don't want to be that freaking, we don't want to be that fandom that stinks. Okay, please use some spray, use some deodorant, use that good stuff your grandma gave you for your birthday that you've never used. Use that and just bathe in it. Well, okay, not too much, but like, just make sure you smell good, okay? Now you're ready. You are ready for the convention. You are ready. Now, first of all, let's talk about, you don't need a fursuit to go to a convention. You don't need a partial, you don't need a tail. You can just go. Everybody is super inviting, super loving, and they're gonna like you no matter what you look like, as long as you smell good. They don't like what, like you don't need ears. You don't like sometimes I'm not wearing anything. Sometimes I'm wearing a tail. Once I'm wearing a partial. Either way, you're gonna meet great people, and you need to remember that. Um, but things to do. So you've got your badge, you've got your hotel. You know where you're sleeping. You smell good. You ate. It's time to enjoy your few days. So you get there, grab your bed, grab your badge. You're good to go. Okay, so you have a schedule, it's a little schedule, okay? Now when you look at that schedule, it will tell you all the panels, when the dances are, when the fur 
meats are when, when well it is a huge for meat but like when certain meats are you know the opening cere ceremonies <sighs> sorry series that just like I don't know your mind just like poof, popped up series coming up anyways um, so yeah it will show your dances your meet and greets your game rooms, everything that you want to do for that weekend except the night. Like the night party is like past the dance, you know, the past the time that you got. Okay, so like doing all things. So what do you what do you do? So what what do you do? Um well usually there's some panels like the meet and greet, like meeting other people. If you're nervous, this is where you want to go, meet other like meet other friends, meet maybe your future lover. That has happened. Um, maybe just, you know, your new best friend. Maybe just people that you want to hang out with. Um, go there and, you know, afterwards maybe there's a panel like drawing. You love to draw. You're going to be an artist. Maybe go check out that panel. Um, dealer's Den. Fuck, bitch. This girl lives at the Dealer's Den, okay? But it doesn't spend money until like the last day because I'm cheap. Anyways. Um, Go to the dealer's den, there's lots of t-shirts, you want art, you're getting the art there, okay? Dealer's den, you're gonna wanna pick up maybe some art, a new badge, okay? So maybe it's your first fursona and you don't, you don't actually know what you are. Maybe you're an antelope, maybe you're a cow, maybe you're a dog, maybe you're a wolf, hybrid, dragon, dinosaur. You wanna go find an artist and say, this is what I want, do you think you could do it? Maybe they'll try, you know, spend some money on that. And then all of a sudden, look, you got a persona. Well, you would have probably thought of it before, but now it's like real. Or you could make one yourself, it doesn't matter. Um, and you get lots of art, posters, uh, sculptures, I mean, Kigu's there, um, maybe a partial that you enjoy, or uh, a full fursuit maybe they're selling, uh, foot paws, your tails, ears, um, little cute keychains, necklaces, uh, t-shirts, tank tops, um, bandanas. There is everything you need furry-wise usually at a dealer's den. Um, and depending on what you are exactly, if you're a fox, you're gonna find, you'll find whatever you need there. If you are a dragon, unicorn, butterfly, dog, um, you're probably not gonna find something there. But you may find a person that makes certain things that you can connect with after the convention and make it for they can make it for you. So there's so many things to do when you're in the dealer's den that you want to buy. Bring money, bring money for in general food and you know things you want to buy. And if you don't, just don't go in the dealer's den because um, you know you're gonna want everything in the dealer's den. Unless you're a person that just doesn't want to shop and that's totally cool. I would say now you want to go to opening ceremonies maybe, figure out what's going on, what the theme is. You might want to wear certain things um, that, that go with the theme. Um, it's, it's crazy. It's, um, there's so much to do you can do. You might want to take photos of other fursuiters, take photos with fursuiters. Um, make sure you ask them for hugs, for pictures. Some of them don't like getting hugged in general, even though you're in a super fluffy costume. I mean, why wouldn't you want to get hugged? But people don't, right? So everybody has their one in their space. So always ask beforehand. Um, and, you know, don't be shy. I mean, you might be, but people are there to meet other people and have a good time. All right, sorry about that. I had to do a part two. Uh, my camera kind of stopped. So anyways, um, let's talk about the night, okay? The night is a lot different than the day. This is more where the adult themes come in, okay? So if you're under 19 or 18 or 21, depending on where you live, you gotta go. You gotta go to your hotel room with your parents or go home with a friend. You can't stay. There has been times where there's been, you know, um, some younger people, but you need to understand that, yeah, I mean, it's cool to go to a bunch of parties with this drinking and stuff like that, but if you get in, if you get caught, you might not be able to come back, right? So it's just smart waiting until you're that age, even though sometimes it sucks to go to the parties that are upstairs and not on the con floor. So let's talk about the party block. 
Everybody loves the party block. We all know. Some cons don't have party blocks, um, which is kind of weird. Um, okay, so what is a party block? Let's talk about that. So after you do all your day activities, meetups, panels, um, just meeting new friends, meeting new furs, you know, doing all those things, you want to go get ready or wherever you're, what, what, go get ready, eat, and then you're going to get ready for your parties. If you haven't heard any, about any parties and you're at this age, just ask around, okay? Most of them are not secret. Most of them want more people to come so then, you know, they can meet other people. So just, just ask. Um, okay, so furry parties. Bring ID. Some you can get into without ID. You should have ID on you. Um, keep it in your little pouch. Keep it with a purse, you know, just make sure you don't lose it. And so then you can ID at the door. Now, you're probably confused. Well, where are these parties? They're in hotel rooms. Um, whether it's a penthouse or just a normal hotel room, usually people have themes. They kind of put like the beds up or they move them out of the way and then they have a little dance floor or you know maybe it's maybe there's just a little couch and it could be it's literally from like a pretty big size to a really really small size so let's talk about party themes okay so there's like a russian party like a space party um you know pony party there's canada parties there's so many different types okay and they're really really cool so if i were you i'd check all of them out like do a little round trip no, you can always come back into one room unless it gets really, really full and that's where you want to stay for the night until you go back to wherever you're sleeping that's not on a bench. Um, yeah, just enjoy it. And um, I've been to so many really cool ones and met so m where I've met the most people my age is usually in the party block. And basically it's just for everybody that, you know, just wants to have more of a good time and are not ready to go to bed. So for the people that do you know, set those up. We love you. Um, and I bet for the people that are coming to your very, their very first con, they're going to love you too. Because I remember my very first, uh, furry convention was actually at Rainforest. Um, actually <laughs> the last Rainforest. <laughs> And um, I didn't actually see that much that you know went on, so um, I can't really say much about that. But I had a lot of fun, and I met friends that I now talk to a lot, and it was a pretty good time. So um, make sure you you know if you're old enough, check them out. You know, even if you're a little shy and stuff, you can always leave. Remember, so basically, a furry convention, you just. Prairie conventions just like, it just make me smile. <laughs> you just have a really, really good time. You meet new people, you make friends that are like family. That's one thing. Cons are like a big family gathering. It basically is. It's like a family reunion every year. People come from different countries, different cities, and they're all there to have a really good time with you. So what you want to do is just have a really good time with them, right? So, you know, Make sure you do your, your 6211 and have a really, really good time. And I will be making more videos, making more videos about what is a furry, maybe uh, which furry conventions to go to, um, what to wear. I mean, I know that I've done a what to pack and a lot of people in, were interested in that. So if you want anything else, just put them in the comments below and I will definitely see them. And I hope to see you guys at a convention in the future. Bye. Oh, boom. Total side note, if you are going to Ferlandia, so am I. So um, also put a comment below and maybe we can meet up and make a video together. You never know. All right, bye.